So what are some of the progresses that uh, Harmony is making in protocol that will impact it, the network? Mm -hmm. We are really excited to report many of the things we set out last year and the beginning of the year update on our roadmap to talk about what are the political features that we're still committed to building as an open platform. In particular, today I want to unpack how we are impacting the nodes and the validators, but also the progress on the political features that even Ethereum community toolings we can be part of. So how does Harmony plan on achieving one second finality as well as a kind of traction? Mm -hmm. Yes, the key part of our scalability is both the bandwidth of uh, being able to have many transactions, but also the fast finality. In particular, our one block finality has always been our roadmap that we keep pushing from very, very early on of eight seconds to four seconds to now consistently two seconds, but we are not stopping until we have a really amazing user experience with sub one second finality. In particular, the one second finality really requires lots of engineering effort of benchmarking, optimization. We know that we have the fastest um, uh, the consensus protocol to really be able to have finality, but how fast is what we're pushing. In particular, shrinking and making the uh, signature with fewer nodes and faster of the signature in parallel on the machine and would really push us over the edge of sub-second finality. And many of the fun things, as you heard of, uh, we have more political engineers joining us the last few months to work on a kind of abstraction slashing that you're working on, as well as a staging will be coming out very soon. What is the overall goal of the upcoming validator fellow program and how, how will it affect, affect the network? Yeah. The Validator Network has always been both our technical community and the engineering effort, as well with the delegator and the governance of the platform. In particular, we have run many of the Validator education training courses, delegation of tokens, campaign spotlight, where we started to re-engaging many of the active validators, but also many of the new people coming to the Web3 space, joining our network. So we'll be delegating tokens, helping spotlight, we'll be engaging directly with some of the smaller groups to tell them what are the uh, uh, upgrades and the features. We think that the validator has always been the key part both of decentralization, them helping us understanding the security and engineering features, but also of the broader of the that they are sustaining of their running the validator with a good um, revenue and the delegator asking them to be part of the network. Thank you. Thank you, Sun. Today. Yeah.